If you want to detect something with your infrared spectrophotometer, and to be honest, who wouldn't, uh, then the molecule in question must have a moving dipole when it vibrates. The IB wants you to know about two sorts of molecule. The first one here could be water or sulfur dioxide or even CH2, part of a larger organic molecule. All three of these vibrational modes, symmetrical stretching, asymmetrical stretching, and bending, move the dipole. And if the dipole moves, then this will be infrared active. You can see it on an IR spectrometer. Now, for clarity's sake, the red ball does actually move a little bit, but I've not shown the motion just to make it clearer. But I will show it in the next one. The IB doesn't really care about it, though. So this is carbon dioxide, and there are also three different vibrational modes you need to know about. Not all of these involve a shifting dipole. The one on the left, the symmetrical stretching, the dipole is not moving. The asymmetrical stretching and the bending, the dipole is moving. And if you look closely, the little carbon in the middle is also slightly shifting as well. Now, the IB don't care if you draw that or not.